Well, they had a really nice setup in there. Nice greenhouses and a lovely little bed and breakfast place with exquisite um, cut glass windows. But oh, I'm tempted, there are a couple of dogs in there and things like that. Uh, I didn't want to frighten the dogs too much. And also, you know, I don't really want to take photographs without permission sort of thing, you know. You know, without being someone being there. People can get a bit, you know, finicky and all that, even though they are a public place sort of thing. And they probably had thousands of photographs taken by other people. Um, nice ponds. We can always come up, get a special invite or something. I don't know if they've got blood water, so maybe I should look, do, do a bit more research. But as I said, their problem is the sign's too dark now. And too small and too dark. Whereas it used to be larger and it used to be white, if I remember rightly. And I used to go past it for about 20 years. I think. And every time I wanted to go and have a look, it, they were out, it was closed out of season sort of thing. Now, because I'm going looking for Bernarda that's at a different time of the year and dichotomy in flower now that we know when it flowers and all that. Yeah, um, they're open, but no one's home at the moment. And that's probably because we're two days before Christmas and they've probably gone somewhere or they're doing their Christmas shopping. But we might pop in there on the way back or something. If I've got one battery power and two I've got place in the car, because you never know what we're going to find down here. And you know, if I find something, I'm going to try and get as much on card as possible. Anyway, over and out for now. I don't want to waste time and, and you know, cardage and uh, battery power. Okay, over and out. <laughs>